So it's been a while since I made a video, uh, so I just wanted to make this video to update my channel on what I've been doing in Vietnamese uh, since the last video I made. I know it's been a while. Uh, I just got lazy with making the videos, uh, but I didn't get lazy with my studying, so I've still been doing that. Uh, so uh, I follow a lot of language learners on YouTube. Uh, one of them, Glossica Mike Campbell, I followed him before his channel got taken down, and he always had this idea of mass sentences, listening to lots of sentences, finding lots of sentences, sentence mining, things like that, um, as a way to improve your vocabulary and build your language in a uh, more natural sounding way. Um, so I was a bit disappointed when his channel disappeared. And I reached a point a few months ago where I realized what I'm lacking in my Vietnamese is listening comprehension. That's really where my skills were a bit low. So the last little while I've devoted most of my time to that. Um, after thinking about it for a while, um, looking around, I found that Glaska now has his own product of uh, language learning materials. So I bought one. Uh, this is Chinese. Well, first version of his Chinese book, Basic 1. Uh, I have the PDF for Basic 2, and I also have one of the other books as well. Um, great material for learning. Uh, they say it's uh, an addition to whatever materials you're using already, but I like their system and what they do with their methodology here. Um, I haven't started my Chinese yet, but when I saw that he's producing books, I went out and I got it. Uh, I'll come to it at some point. But as I was thinking about my Vietnamese, I realized if that methodology will work for Chinese, it'll work for any other language, it'll work for Vietnamese. Um, but they don't have Vietnamese on their website. So what I did is I went on italki every day for two, two and a half months and wrote out sentences, 20, 30, 40 sentences a day and had the people on italki correct them for me, native Vietnamese speakers. And then didn't worry about the corrections, just left them there. But had friends of mine who are native Vietnamese speakers record the sentences for me. So that way I had it written and I had the audio to go with it as a native speaker would say it. That way I can read and listen and really follow um, this methodology the way that they have it in the book. Uh, in the book here they have uh, units, 20 units of 50 sentences that gives you a thousand sentences uh, across the span of the book and the first month. Uh, I have 23 units and about 40 sentences per unit so roughly 900, 920-ish sentences uh, across the space of the month to practice on. Uh, then what I did is in the front of the book here you can see they've got it all laid out what you would do every day, how you're going to arrange your practice. So I wrote out myself a schedule, what I would be doing every day that way I can check it off as I'm going along and make sure that I'm hitting every piece of the practice that I have to do. So let me open that up and you can have a look at what the schedule looks like. Okay, so you can see here on the left side of the screen we've got uh, the schedule that I've laid out for myself. On the right side you get some of the example sentences. Uh, you can see they don't necessarily follow any cohesive storyline or anything like that. Uh, they're small snippets of sentences, everyday language that you would hear, and the idea is to practice saying a full sentence rather than individual words. So you get the, the cadence and the flow of how a natural sentence would sound from a Vietnamese speaker as opposed to word by word you know, translation um, as a learner. Uh, it's a much more natural way to speak and then uh, much easier for a Vietnamese person to actually engage you in conversation and not have to make up for your shortcomings. Uh, so you can see on the left side of the screen here, uh, once you get into it, it'll be easier to explain midway through. So on day 10, your first activity would be to review the previous lessons, 7, 8, and 9. Uh, you're going to listen to the sentences again. If you have to look up any of the words, you'd open up the, the PDF or the document file. You know, Look at the words that you don't understand and uh, continue on. Your second activity would be to review, or, sorry, to record yourself speaking the sentences. That way you can review comparing yours, your sentences to the native speaker's sentences. Uh, work on any uh, of your intonation or accent problems. Uh, it really works uh, to help fix up 
any shortcomings you might have in your speech. So that's the second activity, recording what you had done the previous weeks, recording the sentences. The third activity for the day would be to translate. So this time you're only going to listen to the English portion of the audio recording and then try and translate it into the Vietnamese and then listen to the Vietnamese uh, speaker. So after you've done, you can see here I've done lesson six for one day, two day, three days, four days, and then on the fifth day you do lesson six as the translation. And then the last activity for the day on day 10 would be to do unit 10. Uh, and what you're going to do here, you're going to listen through the audio uh, once or twice, get a, a feel for it, and then you're going to listen to it and transcribe it. You're going to dictate everything that they say. Uh, and then when you do your next day, when you move on to day 11, when you get to unit 10, you're going to listen and correct any of the mistakes that you had in your dictation, uh, as well as speaking the sentences out. So that'll be uh, what you do every day. So always starting ref with review and then moving on to recording and then translation and then moving on to the new unit doing transcribing dictation. Uh, really works on your ability to hear the language uh, and understand what's being said. A really good way to work on your listening comprehension which was my main goal for doing this. So what I'm going to do is play a bit of a recording that I had made by one of my friends in Vietnam. I believe this is the second unit that I have. Uh, and you can see nice clear audio, uh, really good listening practice. Are you a student? Cháu là sinh viên phải không? Yes, I am. Dạ phải, cháu là sinh viên. Am I late? Tôi có bị trễ không? No, you're on time. Không, anh đúng giờ đấy. So next I'm going to put up a recording from the first few days of me doing this practice, followed by uh, a recording from day 21, I believe. Uh, that way we can see the difference between what I sounded like at the beginning of the practice and what I sounded like 20 days into doing the practice. So hopefully we can compare the two and see a difference. Đây là áo khoác của bạn. Bạn làm nghề gì? Mẫu yêu thích của bạn là gì? Mẫu yêu thích của tôi là màu xanh da trời. Bạn quan tâm những gì? Ông ấy là ai đấy? Tôi không biết. Tôi chưa bao giờ gặp ông ấy trước đây. Bạn đã đi đến Montreal chưa? Chưa bao giờ. Tôi đã đi đến New York một lần rồi. Tôi chưa bao giờ chơi tennis. Tôi chưa bao giờ lái xe tài cả. Tôi đã đi học muộn vài lần rồi. So after listening to that, uh, I think it's pretty clear the difference between the first recording and the second recording. Uh, my cadence and my flow was a lot better, much more natural, and the pronunciation and tone sounded better to me as well. Um, so I'm just about done the basic one uh, practice course, uh, and I'm working on having a basic two. Uh, for the Glaska, they have basic one, two, three, and then they have fluency modules. I'll be doing one and two, and then hopefully moving into more authentic content and working with that. Um, I will put a link for the Glossica products in the description below and I will also put up the Vietnamese resources that I created. I'll find some way to put them online and make them open to anybody that wants to use them. If you're learning Vietnamese, by all means, make use of them. Uh, once I have that, I'll put that in the description below as well. Uh, any comments or questions, uh, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.